Today we're riding on the world's top two rated first class bullet train seats for seven hours across Japan to see which one is the world's best. And right now we're arriving a train one of two and words literally cannot express how excited they are. As this is not your typical train with not only being one of the fastest trains in the world, but also having a legendary onboard service of incredible food, first class amenities, and this is just the start with later experiencing a never before seen first class private train car. But boarding train one of two, would you just take a look at this cabin and seat? And looking around, it seems like I'm the only passenger in first class. So before anyone else gets here, let me show you around the world's best first class train cabin and seat literally called the exclusive dream seat. So typically on the bullet train, there's 85 to 100 seats per car. In first class, however, there's 18 being in a two by one configuration, making you have a crazy amount of room of space in every way possible. For example, similar to an airplane, bags can be stored either up top in this massive gold store storage bin area, or you can even put it behind your pod-like seat, which at every seat you have a window that's literally triple the size of a normal section on the train, and unlike any other train car on the Shinkansen, a beautiful hand-woven carpet, and perfectly chosen sources of light having it be alternating by seat. And as we leave the station, I'm still the only passenger on board, and we still have so much to explore from the seat to the onboard experiences, so I am so freaking excited. So ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you to the seat literally named the exclusive dream seat, which feels more like a high-tech designer bed rather than a train seat. Like first thing I notice is the space, with the seat not only being ridiculously wide, but also having a crazy amount of legroom to stretch out. And the seat is of course insanely comfy with, for example, having a freaking plush pillow built in within the seat, but also this is literally a designer chair. Like there's a four page document on their website describing why and how they chose the design and leather of this seat. However, what has to be one of the coolest features is what makes this seat called the exclusive dream seat. As there's a control panel built into the seat itself with being able to control not one, not two, but three different areas of the seat itself. With for of course being able to recline your seat 45 degrees on your back, but also controlling the height and length of your legs and also feet. Which typically on any sort of transportation, when you have that amount of recline, it's a major problem for the person behind you. But like I mentioned before, this seat is more like a pod, with the recline of the seat being built into the seat itself, allowing every passenger to keep the full amount of leg room throughout the entire journey, which truly makes this a dream of a seat. Which blows me away because ladies and gentlemen, we haven't even explored the amenities or the coolest feature of this seat yet. Ladies and gentlemen, not only is this seat cool, but just like a first class airplane seat, you're given amenities, which are spread all around the seat and in this onboard menu. Like for example, over here in this beautiful red pouch, we have some fancy and comfy first class slippers, which as the only passenger, when I walk around this train cabin, makes me feel like I'm in my own like mansion of a train. Up in the storage bin, we have this nice plushy blanket that honestly, when you're on a train is so freaking comfy. And you also have a menu of different amenities amenities that you can request of, for example, an eye mask, face products, and so much more. But what has to be the coolest amenity is this button on the control pad. You see, in first class, you have a dedicated train attendant, which for a train is just freaking unreal. So I'm going to press the button and call our train attendant and see what we can order. So I just got the menu from the train attendant because you see, ladies and gentlemen, you're able to order from a list of different snacks, drinks, and even bento boxes curated by a master chef of Japan. Pen. So I'm gonna order something from every section and try as much as we can. Okay, so for the first course we have Japanese champagne with on the side some cool Japanese snacks where I love the little logo on the pad. And don't get me wrong, the snacks and champagne were delicious, but definitely what people come here for is the second and third courses. With of course in front of us having a beautiful bento box, which each little section here, depending on the season for the freshness of products, is curated by the chef, making each and every bite freaking delicious. But ladies and gentlemen, the dream continues with it officially being dessert out, which in front of us we have this beautiful pound cake, which again is curated by one of the best pastry chefs of Japan, making this most definitely one of the most curated meals I've ever had, and it's on a train. Like, what? Probably 
the craziest thing about Grand Class and overall Chin Constance in general is you see this is one of the fastest trains in the entire world and because of that it travels very differently compared to your typical train making you literally feel like you're levitating even though the speed is close to 300 kilometers per hour like if you take a look at my champagne here the champagne itself is hardly moving as there's only a few bumps along the way and like just to express how smooth this journey is there's some people that even bring a coin with them to show how smooth it is with putting the coin upright and it not falling over making you feel like this train is gliding and because the train is so smooth on different constants they put all these epic experience based cards that honestly seem like something out of a dream from having a japanese foot spa on board with having all of these different baths the length of the car itself and while you're in the foot bath being able to look out these massive windows at the japanese countryside which is so freaking cool but also they have constants with traditional japanese restaurants having tatami seats and selling delicious food and with even some constants having cars themed as pikachu but in our first class car there's not one but two super cool private rooms in our private hallway with the first room being this sort of vanity area with having this beautiful mirror sink and also this incredible red curtain however definitely my favorite room has to be the second of the toilet and why is it my favorite area you might ask ladies and gentlemen on this train you're the first ever smart toilet and it's complete with a seat warmer the day water pressure and so much more and i seriously cannot get over that what we're experiencing is just the start you see many think this seat is the king of japanese train travel but ladies and gentlemen you see right now we're transferring to our second train which has a freaking private train compartment oh my gosh ladies and gentlemen welcome to our private compartment Count it. there's one two three four five six seats with the seats being super comfy and facing these two windows with also these like three other windows up top making it feel like a freaking observation car now on the other side you have these two windows here where you can keep the shades drawn to create some privacy or you can open to create more space but to be honest like this room is already like half the freaking train car so I I don't really know who would need more space in this train. With the room being literally three bobbies in width and one in length. And honestly, I feel like this more feels like a home on a train rather than a train seat. Like over here, we have beautiful paintings, a collection of art materials, these like rocks, and then a tree branch with fish hooks in it. That being the centerpiece of this train, like everything in this room, every detail is perfectly thought out. Like over here, we have these beautiful lights that make you feel like luxury train from the past. Of course, this massive table. And along with being beautiful, it's also super practical. With having on each side two different outlets and a USB port, plenty of space to fit bags under your seat, a makeshift closet, and an SOS button with a microphone attached. I'm not gonna lie, I'm very tempted to press this thing. So anyway, this room is freaking unreal, and ladies and gentlemen, you're not gonna believe the special amenities that come with this room. So as we go past the beautiful shorelines of Atami, I want to show you my favorite thing in this room. You see, ladies and gentlemen, located over here, we have a drive through window. As you see, catering on this train is taken to a completely new level with having a chef with not one Michelin star, but 13. And what you do since there's super high speed Wi-Fi is you actually order from your phone. So I'm going to place my order and then let's wait for the drive through Oh my, we have so much food. So for our first course, we went with the pasta. Yes, pasta. Do not judge me. This is the appetizer course. And this pasta is a pesto linguine with, since we're in Japan, beautiful mackerel pieces and then topped with some fresh greens. Oh my gosh. Ladies and gentlemen, this... This is about to be a very special meal. Now for the second course, and by the way, this is not the main course yet, I'm starting to discover how specialized this menu is. And I say that yes for the food, but also <laughs> for the water. Like this water is from Canon Onsen. Anyway, for our second plate, we went with the beautiful Japanese curry. Looking at the beef in this, it looks absolutely fantastic. And this dish right here, this is the one where everybody said you must try it. Since it's literally made with the same recipe of the restaurant where this guy has his Michelin stars. And mixing it all together, I cannot wait to taste this beautiful, famous dish. Oh my 
freaking Michelin star. That is a perfect combination between downright comfort food and fancy. And ladies and gentlemen, for the main course, we don't have one plate, we don't have two, but we have three complete boxes of food. Like in front of us first, we have these two massive bento boxes that count it. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen squares to choose from. Of anything from meats to fish to Japanese specialties to things I didn't even know you could have in a bento box of squid. And of course, for the third dish, we have the famous noki from none other than the 13 star Michelin. Chef. And honestly, just looking at all this food in front of me with the onsen water and watching the beautiful passing views, this, this is truly a magical moment. And I gotta say this, from the Japanese countryside to the food, to the amazing attendance on to this insanely big room. This was such a special day, so thank you guys for coming along with me on this journey, and I'll see you guys next time.